building muscle is, you know, it's a great idea and there's a lot of wonderful benefits like we've talked about, but it's not, it's not easy. It's not a walk in the park. And I mean, no fitness school is necessarily easy. Um, but I think that people often underestimate just how difficult muscle building can really be and just how long it can take. And I think that's really kind of the main thing, not the main thing, but a really big piece of why people kind of struggle within it is they kind of rush it or they expect that they're going to be able to see all this growth or put on all of this lean mass in a very, very short period of time. And that simply is not the case. I mentioned that, you know, when I first started kind of getting into resistance training, I did an eight week kind of beginner focused program, which again was really great in getting my foot in the door. But by the time I got to the end of eight weeks, I really didn't see that much progress. Yes, I had seen some muscle growth because I was a beginner and, you know, getting into training and you're going to see some really great progress within that time frame. But you have to give yourself time. And if you limit yourself on, oh, I'm only going to be in a building phase for 12 weeks or, oh, I'm only going to, you know, work on this for a very short period of time, you are cutting yourself short. And I feel like that is so often what holds people back. And kind of along that vein is, you know, going through muscle building phases can come with some days where maybe you are a little bit more uncomfortable comfortable. Um, you might be a little bit more full from having to eat, you know, a little bit more food. Um, you may feel, you know, a little bit more full just from having more muscle on your frame, feeling a little bit heavier. And sometimes for some people that can be challenging mentally. And the initial move that people will make in that moment is, oh, you know, I need to start pursuing fat loss or, oh, it's time to jump back into a calorie deficit. And again, really cut themselves short on that time to continue to pursue muscle building. And then again, you're not giving yourself the, you know, caloric allotment that you're going to actually need. So you're just going to end up kind of getting to the end of that fat loss phase and realizing, oh, I don't actually have that much more muscle on my frame mm -hmm. because you didn't give yourself the adequate time to build that muscle. So I think that time is a really, really big one. And really, again, giving yourself adequate time, adequate patience, and not jumping into a dieting phase really quickly is going to be a really, really huge one. Um, another really big piece within that is going to be struggling with what you're doing in the gym or not being efficient with what you're doing in the gym or not really being effective with what you're doing in the gym. And this can look like you know multiple different factors, whether it be doing too much volume volume, not executing movements properly, not setting up movements well. And uh, if you struggle with that, well, we got you. Their YouTube channel is full of exercise execution videos. So you can make sure that you know exactly what you're doing for those exercises to get the most bang for your buck. Absolutely. And you'll be in a much better position to <laughs> build muscle after you watch those videos. Um, and then something else within that is, you know, just not being intentional with what you're doing in the gym. Sometimes people will go in the gym and just, you know, swing the muscle around or swing the weight around and be like, yeah, yeah, I lifted today. But did you actually lift with intention? Did you actually contract the muscle fibers that you were trying to contract? Did you actually create tension where you wanted to create tension or were you just swinging their weight around in the air? I see that all too often in my public gym. And sometimes I just want to say, just need a little more intention and you'll get where you want to go. Um, but, you know, it's, it's something that I think that a lot of people overlook. Um, and then another component that will come with that is not recovering well. And this could potentially bleed into what I had mentioned about, you know, potentially doing a little bit too much volume within your training session. But if you're not giving yourself time to recover and if you're just doing more, if you're on your feet all day long, if you're not sleeping well enough, if you're not giving your body time to actually recover and rest, you are not going to see the progression that you want because it's not just a question of can I do more? Can I push myself harder? Can I do another set to failure? Can I do more, more, more? That's not going to facilitate the changes that you want to see. You can only progress from that which you can actually recover from. And if you're not prioritizing recovery, you're not going to be able to progress. And that bleeds into not managing your stress. Um, but those are a couple of just main really big pillars that I see within people who start to work with me, you know, as new clients um, and things that we'll work on, you know, within our first couple of months of, you know, really pursuing muscle building from a pro an appropriate perspective. Yeah. And with that, it's something that we definitely do not try to say, oh, it's something of just realize you need time and it'll be all okay. As we've talked about, women are programmed to want to see the scale go down. And still to this day, I and, and Charlotte, I'm sure is the same, because I'm in the fitness world and because there's so many people reminding everyone like, hey, this takes time, this is what it does. And we've spent so much time learning and understanding it. To us at this point, it seems like, oh yeah, that's fine if the scale changes, it's fine if this happens, it's fine if this happens. I understand the process, but I also understand that not enough people understand the process. And so if you're listening to this and you're like, they don't get how hard it is, 
We do. And I promise you it's okay that it feels hard because it is a mind fuck as a female to see the scale go up, especially in such a scale centric world. So it is something that you do need to take a look up if the scale is serving you. And if you think, hey, well, if I don't have this scale in place, how do I track my progress? There's many other features and things that you can use to track your progress. And we will get to that in a little bit here. But it is something that you have to recognize if the scale is a valuable tool to use in your toolbox. I have had to take the scale away from many clients and take time off from the scale or take more time on the scale for a lot of clients. It is going to depend on the situation for where that person's relationship is with the scale. But the scale is only measuring your weight in relation to the gravity you have to this earth, and it is a square on the ground in your bathroom. No one walks walking around in your life knows what your scale weight is unless you tell them. And so what you need to be able to work on is what that worth is outside of the scale, because it's also something that we cling to this number of what it is. So let's say, for example, you get on the scale and in the morning, it's 130 pounds. I can promise you throughout the day, you're not 130 pounds because you're consuming food, taking in different things, all of this. But if someone asks you your weight, it's, oh, I'm 130 pounds or I want everyone to know I'm this weight, where I have been the same weight about 20 different times in my life and looked completely different each and every time. Again, not saying it's easy to come to that conclusion, but it is something that having a coach can definitely help within that. And just being able to have someone guide you and cut out the noise that's around you within the world, have someone that understands it and to help you move that needle. But it is something that, again, we understand that it's not as easy as just be okay with the scale going up. Be okay with your clothes being tight. That's hard too, whether it's because you just bought clothes and now they don't fit anymore or it's something of your clothes just don't fit in the way that you're used to. I'll I'll say it, and I know that anyone who has muscle that is a female listening to this, clothes aren't meant to fit women with muscles. Now they are getting better and better at it, Mm -hmm. but it is meant for a different frame. And it's very hard to come to the conclusion that you need to be able to have your clothes fit you instead of you fit your clothes. So there's a lot of complexities on this. And again, we're not saying it's easy. We're not saying here, we've told you the benefits. We told you it works. Now just do it. Just help hopefully supplying more information to you so that it does become a little bit easier as you start to take that step in the right direction. And towards Charlotte mentioning time, time and time again, as she should, because it does take time, that's the other hard thing. Because you can do a 12-week or an 8-week diet and see incredible results and really see it come to fruition. But you can do an 8- or a 12-week build and that not be the case. And oftentimes when it comes to exactly what you're talking about of as soon as someone feels uncomfortable, they switch mindsets of, oh, I need to go into a diet phase. I personally have a belief that that is due to your own self-belief or your self-limiting belief that you do not believe you're capable of truly changing your body in that way. And so you immediately think, I just need to be smaller. And so it is something that is very helpful to self-audit and self-reflect and wonder why you feel anytime you start to feel uncomfortable one direction, you feel like you need to go the other. Because I can tell you, just like resistance training, resistance in the real world And in any of these mental conversations you're having is only going to make you stronger. So if you feel resistance as you are trying to build muscle, you feel that resistance as your clothes aren't fitting, as you're feeling full and it's hard, know that that's preparing you and helping you be stronger just like resistance is within the gym.